On this slide, we're going to do a smart art of your family tree. So you're going to go to insert illustrations group smart art. You want to go to the hierarchy category and you can choose one that starts from the side or you can choose one that starts from the top, whatever makes you happy. And you want to start with your mom and dad in the first cell and any siblings in these cells. And then if you have any younger nieces or nephews or pets, you can add those here. You can change the colors up here. You can also manually change them by clicking on each item. You can add different styles by hovering over these options. You can grab the edges to make it fill the page and of course delete the instructions once you get your smart art going. We're then going to hyperlink each family member to a slide that tells more about them. So if your brother's name was Ben, we're going to create a slide here for Ben. I'm going to right click and duplicate it, one for each family member, and we want to insert their face into the magnifying glass on this slide, and then add some information about them. And you'll notice once you get on this slide, if you play the slideshow, you can click the back button and that'll take you back to the family tree. So once we go to Ben's slide, we need to insert his face here. To change the face out, you can just double click on this icon, go to Shape Fill, Picture, and then you can find a picture of Ben to place in there. Or you can crop the picture to a circle shape and place it right here over the magnifying glass. To add text, you can add that in the box below, or you can just rearrange and move the slide around until you get it looking the way that you want. But again, you want one of these for each family member. We're then going to place a transparent shape over top of each of these items that it's going to link it to that slide. So to do that is insert, shapes. I'm going to draw a shape over Ben. And I'm going to start by hyperlinking it. Insert, hyperlink, place in this document and I'm just going to send it to slide 4. If you name your slides it makes it a lot easier to know where you're trying to send this to. So I need to go back and name slide 4. And then I need to make this shape transparent. So I'm going to go back to shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. Then when I go to watch the show I should be able to click on Ben's name, go to a slide about Ben, and then get back to the family tree.